Hi, my name is Mona Gabronson. I want to thank you for your time. Sorry, my family was completely destroyed and will never be whole again. All it took was one false call to an 800 number that rings into a place that calls itself Child Protecting Services, and they are anything but. It was the beginning of the end for my daughter Ingrid, May Bates, her children, Brendan and Naomi, and our family. I supported my daughter throughout this witch hunt. All the endless appointments, meetings, court appearances, doctors, counselings, groups, on and on, that they court ordered of her. Whatever was demanded, Ingrid complied, as the clock continued to tick. I encourage Ingrid to stay strong. Everything would work out. She would get her children back. This is America. They will see. The truth will prevail. But in the end, it all proved futile. Why would they do such things, you ask? Two words. Federal money. Title IV funding. They offer the state's federal incentives, incentives, bribes. When a system is set in place that is not a just system and has no accountability, unlimited power, unconstitutional laws, has total immunity, it is a very dangerous system. They created new statutes, committees, and court-related jobs, new court-related industries. The more cases, the more grant money generated. The worst abuse that we had experienced was at the hands of our government. A state-sanctioned kidnapping, kidnapping racket signed with innocent blood. The late beloved two-time state Georgia Senator Nancy Schaefer and her husband Bruce were silenced for, her, for their attempts to expose this corruption. The system is riddled with corruption beyond measure. There are 25 service providers who derive their livelihoods from that one child, child's removal. They have a vested interest in maintaining their income. They have a vested interest in maintaining their practice. This does not include the thousands who also feed off this beast. After five very long and hard, difficult years, it took its toll on my daughter. They did everything in their power to physically destroy her. We had little or no money to hire a counsel, so we were at the mercy of their attorney pool. Judge William Ames, from Cortland, New York, gavel, rang out time and time again. Case adjourned, case adjourned, case closed. The relentless witch hunt to destroy Ingrid was deemed a success, and the prize brought was Ingrid's children. Sitting in that courtroom, shocked by what we were witnessing, goes way beyond comprehension. Attorney Ingrid Olson threw her hands way above her head as if she scored the winning touchdown in the Super Bowl. I was shocked. I said to her as we were ordered to leave the courtroom, this is not a laughing matter. This is our family. This is our lives. They stole everything precious to Ingrid. Days, months, years dragged by. My beloved Ingrid lost all hope. It's been almost seven year, years since I had to bury my daughter. I am outraged at what has allowed to take place and the blatant disregard for families. The very core of our society is being destroyed from within. The day my daughter died, I died. My daughter's death is a constant reminder how toxic the system really is. Not being allowed to see my grandchildren, Naomi and Brendy, Brendan, only continues to pour salt in these deep wounds. We have no rights. This horrendous war on, fam on families continues. 